Hey everyone, my name is Lynette Chandler from Thrive Anywhere. So last week I created a quick video to show you all about Creative Fabrica Spark, which is like the new Canva competitor. And this week I thought I'll show you Adobe Express. What you see here on screen is the new Adobe Express site. To get there, you go to adobe.com forward slash express. Now it is free to use. However, of course, if you want more features and uh, more images, more assets and anything like that, you will have to subscribe, but you can use it for free, just like Canva. And they even give you 25 generative credits a month, which means AI. So that's pretty cool. And you get to do a number of things, including animation and video and so on. If you decide to upgrade, the price is not too bad. You know, it's $9.99 a month. So that's pretty standard. Okay, so let's dive in and see what we can do with Adobe Express. Here I am logged into my Adobe Express account. Because I do have a full Adobe subscription, there are a lot of things that I have access to that you may not have access to with a free account. One thing I do love right off the bat is the scheduler here. You can design your social media posts in here and then schedule them out. As you see here, I've got one scheduled out for tomorrow. And when I click on it, you see how the post looks like. And of course I can also add more images and create more images with it too. I can create a post, reel, and st or a story. If I click on home, I land on a page where I can see all the different things I can do. One of the tools that I really like here is the text to template. Now, I think Canva has something similar to this, but the last time I tried with Canva's all it did was really search for templates that it found inside their library. However, this tool here is not the same. So let's click on it and see what we can do. Here's a drop down to ask me what kind of posts I want to create. Let's say a card. And I'm just going to enter here a wedding invitation, for example, and click generate. As far as I know, they are actually building templates in here for me to edit. And here we go. They give me four options. Let's start with the one that doesn't use any premium templates, elements and images and, and so on and forth. And now I can edit this however I like. I can change the background here. And I do like that it has recommended colors here. The only thing I'm not sure about this recommended colors is where the colors are pulled from because it doesn't seem like it's pulling from the image. But the nice thing is I can, of course, use this color picker here. And I do really like this orangey color right here. And let me select that. And it's come back with some recommendations. And then you see that it's got this here on the outline. Now, the reason why you didn't see it as a background is because I do think there is something here. It says a grid, I think. So this is actually using a grid, which is like canvas frame. So let's detach that from the background. There we go. So you see that image is actually one and it doesn't seem like I can get this out of this grid here, this image. I guess we'll just have to look for another image to, to add. I'll go over here to media and let's search for wedding cake. It's likely I won't get the very exact same one. And this is the thing I wish it had because I'm really spoiled my Canva where you can uh, click on it and just basically find the same images or the images that are created by the same person. So I'm going to delete that and, oh, okay, there we go. And I'll just add this here like this and then maybe 
I want the top like that. So it's, yeah, not the best picture to replace that one. That one was a really nice picture, but you get the idea here. Of course, I can edit this. We have lots and lots of fonts here as well. You can also upload fonts. Like you see, I've uploaded some of mine. And of course, we can change the font color here. And again, it has these recommended colors. So I'm very intrigued by this recommended color feature because I wonder if it automatically recommends some colors that will go really well with what's already on screen. And so far, I think that is the case. Let's see what the text effects do. It says here, you can tell us what kind of texture you want it to have, or you can click something that's already here. So let's click on that gold drip and it's supplying the... Oh, it's generating some of the effects to see which one. Now I make it larger so you can see, yeah, not exactly something that I like. Let's do embellished. Maybe I want to have tiny pink flowers. And I'm not sure what this loose means. Click on that one. And generate. This is a pretty cool feature here that you can generate all kinds of effects that you want. So let's see. How cute is that? Look. So I think that's pretty neat. Yeah, this is a super neat feature. Of course, it, I do think that this will probably end up using your generative credits. Okay, let's remove effect because I kind of like it as it is flat. Let's make it small again. All right, let's explore what other things we can put on here. Of course, we know we can add the text and they have some logos and some combos already created for us, just like in Canva, that if you're not sure what to use, you can just quickly grab one of these and edit them. And here are the, I was telling you about earlier, it's just like Canvas frames and elements here. Maybe if we want to add something to my design, we can do that. Let's click on that and see what we have. We have 3D type of things, abstract shapes, decorative banners, a lot of different things here that we can add. Let's see if I can find maybe either a texture or an overlay that I can put in the background so that the background just doesn't look so flat. So I'm thinking I probably want not textures, but overlays. So if I click on that, let's check out some of the abstract ones here. So far, they're all heavy. What's this one? Oh, I can't really see it yet. Let's make it larger. Ah, oh, I like that. But maybe that's a little too much. Let's just make it small and then I can click on here and duplicate. I just put them side by side and I can actually group them. Let me align them first so they are all aligned properly and group them. And then maybe I want to make the opacity a little so it's not... You can just barely see it, but it's there. Now, this is, oops, did I not group them? Yep. So this is on the very top. You see here are the layers. I don't want it there. I want it on my background. So this gives the design a little bit more interest in it. All right, let's move on to something else I want to show you here. Okay, let's close this. 
which is the generative fill. Let me open this design. So here's a little cat, but let's say I want to add something to it. I want to give this cat a little tiara. I would just click on the image and then we see here generative fill. So we'll click on that one and I'll just say I want a silver and pink tiara. I need to tell it where I want this tiara. So I'm going to put it right here. Maybe make it large like that. I don't think it has to be like super precise. I'm telling Adobe Express to put a tiara right there. So click generate. And it's doing its magic. Now it will give me all the different options. So that one is a little weird. And that's the first one, I believe. And then we have this one. Not quite. I think I like this one better of all the three. So there we go. And if I click done, ta -da, now my little kitty has a tiara. But the image, you cannot move the tiara. It's added onto the image itself. So something I thought was pretty cool. Let's go back to home and let's try to edit a PDF. You can definitely do it. You just click this plus button here and you click upload media and you select your PDF and you click open and then it will just start converting. Now I'm just going to cancel it because I've done it and because that does take a little while to create. So let's open the file that I have uploaded. Once it's finished converting your PDF to something that Adobe Express can go in and edit. And this is what we find here. Let me click this one where you can see all the pages at one time. So I see the one thing I really like right off the bat is that it tried to match my fonts, which is really good. Because if I do this in Canva, it doesn't match my fonts. So that's half the battle there. The sad part is that it doesn't import any of the images. Let's go back here and see. You see all the images are not imported in. Now this is only one file that I imported in here. So I'm not sure if it's just this particular files issue or it's just something that Adobe just doesn't want to do. It doesn't want you to upload images from a PDF, maybe some kind of licensing. I'm not sure. No biggie because this will push us to find new images. Of course, we can use the generative AI to create them, but we can also check out what kind of media images they have. So let's try for a flat vector calendar as I did before. And I really like that one. Again, these are premium ones, which is why I have access to that. I like that one too. I kind of like that one, probably by, by the same designer. Okay, let's go with that one. And it has a white background too. I'm not sure how well the remove background will work. Let's try that. Not too bad. And then we can add that over here. And of course I can change the text here. I can change the text design. Now, this is one thing I thought was pretty interesting. See dynamic, it always changes according to the text. So I thought that was pretty cool because sometimes we may not know how to make the text look interesting. So let's do it on this one. Let's click dynamic and you see how this is a little larger than that. And let's try making it. See how cool is that? I love this feature. It is super, super neat. And just like that, you can create something a little different that looks just slightly different. Of course, you can page through the next screen by going to the left or to the right. Now all this. You can edit, there's no fill. I can change the border color I want. I can select multiple items. 
Of course, when I do that, I don't think I can. Yeah, I do think. Try this. Let's do a light, a bright color. And all of that has changed just like that. There's still a lot of things in here. Adobe has been in the image editing and video editing industry for a very long time. And right now you can see it's already pretty advanced. I think it can only just get better. I invite you to check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, definitely subscribe to our channel so you can receive more of such videos in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.